Get ready to have your mind blown as we travel more than 100 years into the future. Imagine a world where nomadic floating cities, mind uploading, and health pods are just the tip of the technological iceberg. In today's video, we'll explore some incredible technologies that could exist in the year 2150. So sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed as we unveil the future of technology. Holodeck-style environments. Holodecks, a concept popularized by the TV series Star Trek The Next Generation, are full immersion virtual reality environments where users can experience simulated realities indistinguishable from the real world. Holodecks are based on the idea of full immersion virtual reality, or Fiverr, which uses advanced computing and miniaturized devices to create tiny nanobots that record and replicate patterns of thought directly in the brain. These nanobots work together to recreate sensory information through software, resulting in a virtual environment that closely matches reality. Previous hardware faced limitations such as cost, weight, and resolution, but Fiverr overcomes these obstacles to offer an immersive experience. Fiverr technology was first used in laboratory and military training settings before being commercialized and later becoming a prominent technology of the 21st century. Holodex are the ultimate realization of Fiverr, providing users with the most advanced virtual reality experience available. Underground Lunar Cities In 2150, people can travel to the moon easily. This has led to the establishment of underground lunar cities. Lava tunnels on the moon formed naturally in the past, which have made room for enormous caves that provide a safe environment from radiation, micrometeorites, and temperature extremes. Scientists use techniques such as LIDAR and muon tomography to create detailed 3D maps of these tunnels. Skylight openings can be sealed to provide a breathable atmosphere inside. Moreover, these tunnels contain valuable resources such as titanium, found in much higher concentrations than on Earth. Some tunnels also lead to frozen water deposits in the polar regions. Initially, the settlements were bare essentials, but they evolved into towns with their own culture and identity over time. The underground lunar cities allow explorers, entrepreneurs, and cooperatives to make their mark on the moon's undeveloped territories. Nomadic Floating Cities Nomadic floating cities are like massive ships that can travel around the world and provide a safe place to live for people who can't stay in their homes due to rising sea levels caused by climate change. These ships are so big that they can hold more than 100,000 people and they have things like virtual reality rooms, swimming pools, landing pads for flying cars, and real gardens with trees. They are particularly popular in Southeast Asia, where climate change has caused a lot of problems. People who live on these ships form new cultures based on different themes or ways of life. Moreover, offshore settlements contribute to environmental efforts by acting as immense filtration systems that remove pollutants from the water and air. These pollutants can be repurposed and recycled. These floating cities use renewable sources of energy like wind, waves, sun, and even fusion to produce electricity. They do not release any harmful substances that damage the environment. This way of living is a part of a new type of economy called the post-growth economy. It aims to reduce the negative impact of human activity on nature. By using renewable sources of energy, these floating cities are doing their part to protect the planet. Terraforming of Mars Efforts to terraform Mars are now well on its way. The process is aimed to transform the planet's harsh environment into a hospitable one for human life. The process involved altering the planet's atmosphere, temperature, and geography to create Earth-like conditions. This ambitious plan involved various techniques, including melting the planet's ice caps to release carbon dioxide and using greenhouse gases to warm the red planet. The ultimate goal was to create a self-sustaining ecosystem on Mars with plant life and breathable air. However, the question of who should control the planet and its resources have been contentious. Some argue that Mars should be a shared resource for all humanity, while others say that the first people to colonize the planet should have the right to claim ownership. This debate has spurred discussions about the ethics and politics of space exploration and colonization. Despite the challenges, the possibility of terraforming Mars represents an exciting step forward in our ability to explore and colonize other planets. Health pods are common in homes. By the mid-22nd century, 
advancements in technology enabled people to conduct medical examinations and treatments from their homes. These personal health pods are cylindrical capsules measuring about two meters in length, capable of scanning the entire body within seconds. The scanning process utilizes cameras with sub-nanometer precision to generate trillions of frames per second, enabling real-time 3D analysis of all body parts. If any abnormalities or high-risk changes are identified, the pods can provide recommendations for medication or even conduct surgery using robotic arms or tools, lasers, or nanorobots. Although not all medical conditions can be handled by these machines, they have significantly improved medical care and have been instrumental in reducing cancer mortality rates. Keep watching this video to discover more impressive technologies yet to be showcased. Large Scale Arcologies Large scale arcologies are massive self contained structures built to condense entire cities into one structure. The idea of arcologies emerged in response to global environmental issues and resource depletion that forced humanity to reconsider how urban areas are designed. The development of arcologies is made feasible by advancements in material science, utilizing carbon nanotubes to withstand enormous forces. They're constructed to be resistant to natural disasters like earthquakes and hurricanes. Each self-sustaining structure encompasses all necessary equipment for human survival, with automation playing a significant role. Intelligent robots are responsible for construction and maintenance duties. Elevator technology has advanced significantly, allowing for unprecedented speeds in moving people around the city. Efficient transportation systems are strategically placed throughout the arcologies, enabling quick and easy movement in any direction. This dense urban environment promotes faster citywide mobility. These innovative designs reflect a recent trend towards environmentally friendly human development, with a growing focus on retracting cities and infrastructure to make room for nature. Although traditional cities still exist, arcologies are emerging as the future of urban design. Femto Engineering Femtoengineering is a novel field of technology that involves the manipulation of matter at an even smaller scale than nanotechnology, at the level of a quadrillionth of a meter. The goal is to control atoms by working with the tiniest structures of matter, such as quarks and strings. Femtoengineering is anticipated to transform macro-scale technologies, including anti-gravity force field creation, teleportation, and material science. We can create strong metals that can withstand tough conditions like being in the sun or deep underground. This will allow us to explore these environments using special machines like probes and tunneling machines. We can also make other ingenious objects like metals that are see-through, glow brightly, have no friction, and are very dense but light. Scientists are also using advanced computing aided by AI to help develop this technology. Mind Uploading Mind uploading transfers a person's consciousness from their biological brain to an artificial substrate. The technology to simulate a human mind became available in the late 2020s, but developing the software needed for mind uploading was challenging. The complexity of the brain and the ethical and philosophical issues raised meant that it took nearly a century for this technology to reach the mainstream. Due to advances in Pico technology and robust artificial intelligence, High-resolution scanning techniques have been developed. The testing began with primates and eventually extended to specific marginalized groups, including death row inmates and inmates with terminal illnesses. Once it was established as both safe and reversible, it was made accessible to healthy volunteers. The procedure involves gradually replacing the biological brain with an artificial one, piece by piece. It makes sure that the personality of the person remains intact even after the procedure has taken place. This new form of computerized immortality is becoming widely available, although there are still some legislative barriers and objections from religious and conservative groups. Whether these objections will become a hindrance later on is yet to be seen. For now, this technology definitely looks promising, even if it's many decades away from us. As we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, Let's remember that these technologies are not just for our entertainment and convenience. They have the power to transform our world, solve pressing environmental and social issues, and bring us closer together as a global community. If you enjoyed this video, we recommend you check out our other videos in this series, Exploring the World of the Future. And also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Future Tech Enthusiast for more exciting videos in the future. 
And while you're at it, hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified whenever we release new videos. See you next time.